absolutely not. You can still feel the pain from the winces on her face, but Lila DeLine's progression is undeniable. There's still times where I sit here now and go, my head is screwed on, literally screwed on, and that's the only thing keeping it on. <laughs> She'd almost made it to her Cedar Springs home on August 16th. Her husband heard the custom exhaust on her 2008 Chrysler 300, but when he went to meet her in the driveway, their whole world changed. He was looking at my car when she hit me. You can see the car's twisted, mangled metal from the crash, her vehicle landing in the ditch by her house. And I was slumped over the center console, not breathing. Her husband quickly put his first aid skills to work, securing his wife's head while the at-fault driver held the 911 call to his. He sat there holding my head and neck the entire time until the Paramax came. So he's literally holding your head and neck in place yeah. so you can breathe. Yep. Keeping her head still may have been a life-saving call, according to doctors. I took care of her while she was in the ICU and she couldn't move anything. The best that she could do was blink to commands. Um, she couldn't move, she couldn't talk, she couldn't do anything. She wasn't even breathing on her own. I thought that was my, I mean, my life. I thought that my life was gonna be ventilators and diapers and um, not being able to communicate. I, I'm sure that was emotional for you. <laughs> it's emotional now. But that wasn't all that was in store. Lila's treatment at Spectrum Butterworth and Mary Freebed Rehabilitation Hospitals yielded unbelievable results. It was one of the most remarkable things that I've ever seen. I, I was completely floored. <laughs> DeLine credits the hospitals, especially her nurses, for motivating her through dark times. Her love for her daughters, also an extra dose of strength. And I remember laying there going, uh, this isn't me. I'm not staying in this bed. I'm going to do what I need to do to get out of this situation. 